Rosanna Arquette's husband Todd Morgan has filed for divorce following an eight-year marriage to the actress. Morgan, who runs the firm Bel Air Investment Advisors, submit paperwork to a Los Angeles County court to end the marriage. According to The Blast, which reviewed legal docs in the case, Morgan said in his filing that he and Arquette had separated as of January 1, 2022 and requested the court to nix any potential spousal support orders in connection with a prenuptial agreement they previously agreed to. The community property assets and debts of the community, if any, should be divided pursuant to the terms of the party's prenuptial agreement, Morgan's legal team said in court docs, adding that attorneys' fees and costs are payable pursuant to the terms. Arquette, 62, tied the knot with the finance professional in Malibu, California in August of 2013. A representative for Arquette said at the time that the couple was wed in a private family ceremony and was very happy in the wake of the nuptials. The couple initially got engaged in June of 2011, with a source telling Radar at the time that Rosanna was kind of taken aback but absolutely thrilled when Todd proposed. Dot. The source added, she's completely in love and had no hesitation in accepting. She didn't think she would ever get married again and was happy with the way things were between her and Todd. But Rosanna is, at the heart of it, a real romantic and she's willing to give marriage another go. Dot. The actress is a member of the famed Arquette show business family, which also includes Oscar winner Patricia Arquette, 53, actors David Arquette, 50, and Richmond Arquette, 58, and the late Alexis Arquette. Arquette was previously married to filmmaker Tony Greco, composer James Newton Howard, and restaurateur John Siddle, with whom she shares daughter Zoe Siddle, 27. Arquette has had notable roles in films such as Pulp Fiction and Desperately Seeking Susan, and on shows such as The L Word, Sideswiped and Ray Donovan. Arquette in 2012 opened up to HuffPost about her thoughts on balancing her love life and career, saying it's been quite a challenge to have both. I was in a relationship for a few years and didn't work for a few years, and now I am starting to go back to work and I am in a relationship. It's always about accepting the other person, who they are and what they do, she said. I love to work and I love my partnership, but I really do need both. If I am only focusing on one, then I am not a whole person. Hopefully I know how to do that now.